Hey, it's Dr. Dunaway here with Cairo Strength, and today's video is gonna be discussing an isometric strategy for loading this medial elbow, which is a great starting point in rehab of a medial epicondylitis or golfer's elbow. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna first just kind of assess pronation, because if we, if we lack pronation, then we have to open up those tissues first for that before we really start working through strategies in a pronated position. So the test is, wrist lining up with elbow, elbow lining up with shoulder, and all we're gonna do is try to flatten that hand to the ground. If we're restricted in this range of motion, we're gonna to have to start by trying to improve that pronation um, and, and that supination so we can actually get in position of this drill we're gonna talk about. So assuming you have the range of motion, the drill we're gonna talk about is really, if we, if we think about the, the hand as more like the foot where we have the toes, we have the metatarsals and metacarpals in this case, and then we also have these form flexors, right? So we have finger flexion and we got wrist flexion. We really wanna kind of make the hand really rigid and we do a little bit of finger flexion, but we're really trying to get that whole hand to press into the table. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get ourselves in this position here. And if we want to make this more difficult, we can use a foam roller to raise the lower body to kind of distribute tish, uh, more tension onto the upper body like this. But for starters, what we're gonna do is just kind of go over the position and the pressure. So we really wanna put this elbow out on an island to train it to receive load good. So to do that, we're gonna kind of protract and round our back so we're not relying too much on proximal tissues to help support this. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of lean forward and we're gonna to start to drive our hands through the table like this, almost to where those is gonna lift the elbows up but I just wanna kind of take a little pressure off the elbows. And as I drive through, that's gonna be the isometric hold. And this should be something that is long duration, low threshold, meaning you're only doing 10, 20, 30% of your maximal contraction, but we're doing so in a position that's not necessarily the most advantageous for support up in the proximal tissues. So push the shoulder away, push through the elbows, put a little pressure onto the upper extremities, and then just start kind of pressing through the table with the hand and the fingers. And then we're just gonna see how much pressure we can, we can do comfortably. And then this position is something you would hold up for to 90 seconds to sometimes two minutes. Because it's, because it's a low threshold movement, we really wanna sustain that for a long time without a whole lot of shaking or discomfort. So once you can do that, we can really go to more isolation and more targeted strategies of let's say a medial epicondylitis on this left side. And what we're gonna do is in a similar position, we're gonna get down as if we're in a uh, kind of a quadruped position. And again, to try to disengage a lot of these proximal tissues, we're gonna push through, get that scapula to really kind of come around the tissue or the, the thorax here. And then what we're gonna do is again, with our fingers kind of rigid, we don't wanna to grip too much. We're gonna to try to get that range of motion into the ball. As soon as we push into the ball, we should feel these tissues on the bottom side of the form really engage. And then what we'll do is if this is already difficult enough, we'll just kind of maintain that pressure through a comfortable range, whether that's 10, 20, or 30%. This is gonna be below a painful threshold. And then if this starts to become easy, maintaining a good position, we'll slowly bring this other hand off and then really work on maintaining good engagement of these forearm muscles. If you feel like you're doing too much through the shoulder blade and you feel more recruitment up here and less recruitment down here, that's a good, that's a good indication that you're maybe doing too much. So either go back to both hands on the ground or just move this ball a little further out, really get that scapula protraction and really focus on that hand to where you really feel these forearm muscles really supporting you. Again, this is gonna be something that we do for 60 to 90 seconds but as you're starting to work some of these isometrics into your routine, it'll really create a more robust tendon and better dampening of force coming from the hand up to the elbow, which again will kind of deload that elbow and allow that healing to occur. And after that healing occurs, allow that, those structures of the form to really create a robust kind of system to where that stress of the elbow is not constantly happening. But that's a really good introduction to loading strategies of a medial epicondylitis.